is a video to show Rivco products LED turn signal mirrors. They are the only one of its kind. This is a nighttime shot to show you the headlight will not block out the view of the turn signals. This is the front of the motorcycle. You have orange directional facing in the front for running lights that are always on. And as you step over to the back, you'll see the turn signals, very bright, very out, very pronounced, are extremely bright. All right. The, the red lights in the back are not on unless the turn signal is on. As you can see now, left turn signal, right turn signal. They work in unison with the bike. They don't draw any extra power. This is a very good safety feature. I was recently rear-ended on my motorcycle while trying to make a left-hand turn because someone said that they weren't paying attention and did not see my low turn signals that were underneath the trunk of my motorcycle. Having these turn signal mirrors is an obvious safety feature. Coming around to the front again, turn the turn signals on. You can see how bright they are, and they're up and pronounced, so they're going to be in the field of vision from people in front or behind you. This is a close-up shot of the bike. I'm going to start recording in a minute, and we're going to be at 100 feet away, so you can see how bright these turn signals are. All right, as you can see right now, I am over 100 feet away, counted out, measured from Steve's motorcycle. He has the Rivco LED turn signal mirrors on. The large lights that you see above, those are the turn signals that are embedded in the mirror, rear facing red. As 100 feet away, there's no doubt you can tell that he has his flashers on. The mirrors are up higher, higher than the regular lighting, and they do not get lost in the brake and the flashing lights on the bottom. All right, here's some close-up footage of the LED mirror from Rivco Products. I just wanted to take a moment and let you guys know how easy they were to install. Now this bolt down here on the bottom is a stock. This is the stock switch housing. The mirror simply sits on top of the stock switch housing and then they supply you with extra bolts for metric or for standard bikes that will bolt up to the bottom. There's adapters, more adapters than you're going to need for your individual motorcycle to make sure that they cover everything. The wiring is hidden in the stem and it comes out here, it's black to match the stock wiring. You just simply run it down the handlebars. You tie it into the existing turn signal wires, which is usually located down around the headlight area. Now, on stock Harley Davidsons that have the turn signals mounted on the lower stock mirror stem, they'll be right in this area. You can either, Rivco has a kit that you can get free of charge if you let them know you want it, that'll allow you to mount your stock turn signals right back where they were. Or you can do what my friend Steve did here and buy a relocation kit from Harley Davidson to mount your turn signals down here or Rivco Products does make a, a relocation kit as well and then you just run the wiring to such it's a simple three wire install you have a hot wire for your running light the running light is always on in the front amber you have a hot wire for your turn signal which is on the rear facing red arrows we showed you and then you have a ground wire it's a pretty simple setup with a couple of scotch lock connectors you don't even have to tap into the bike stock wiring that way if you ever choose to remove the mirrors you can do so and leave your bike the way it was if you choose to sell it and use the mirrors on a different motorcycle these products are available through cruiser customizing you can get them and as you can see they're a pretty nice setup the field of vision on the mirror is better than stock this arm here is longer than your stock mirror the mirror here has actually got a better field of view than your stock mirror. It's a large oval. And the measurements are available on the websites. Sitting on the motorcycle or behind it, you get a feel for how the mirrors stick out. They stick out farther than stock and they're up a little bit higher than stock. Gives you a better field of vision. Also gets the turn signals and running lights up to where people can see you. Something to think about. SUVs. I was recently rear-ended like I was saying. My turn signals are down low and I have a trunk on my motorcycle. It happens to be the same model as Steve has a street bob. A lady rear-ended me because she had a hard time seeing my left-hand turn signal and my brake lane. Safety feature. Get them up where they can see them. As you can see by my truck parked next here, I'm up higher than the field of view on this motorcycle. If you were right in front of me, I would not be able to see your brake lights coming up. I wouldn't be able to see your turn signals. You get it mounted up high here. I'll turn one on again. Everything works off the stock switch. That turn signal is going to stay on, and as you can see, if I was in a truck behind you, I would have no problem seeing that you were turning.